Hello, good day, guys. My name is Nick, technical analyst with Triple Forex. Today, we shall be looking at the technical analysis on the current CPA, GBP, JBY. And first, we'll be talking about fundamentals before we move right to, down to technicals, which is going to be uh, purely what we're seeing on the chart. Now, we have seen that uh, GBP, JPY drops uh, below 172.00. I miss a higher than projected Japan inflation. Uh, GBP BPY has slipped sharply below 172.00 amid a surprise jump in Japan's inflation, higher than projected. Uh, in fact, BOJ's prolonged ultra dovish policy stance. Investors are anticipating that the Bank of England will not bring down inflation to have by the end of the year. The GBP JPY pair has witnessed a steep fall after failing to sustain a growth the immediate resistance of 172.00 in the Asian session. Now, the cross has faced selling pressure on the statistics. Bureau of Japan has reported higher than anticipated inflation data for April, while national headline consumer jumped 3.5% from the prior release of 3.2%, while the street was anticipating a deceleration of 2.5% for CPI uh, that doesn't include food and energy prices accelerated to 4.1% versus the consensus of 3.4% at a formal release of 3.8%. Now, the release of the higher than projected inflation numbers will provide some relief to Bank of Japan policymakers that will impact their prolonged ultra dovish policy stance. BOG Kazuo Ueda has already conveyed that inflation projections are softening and the central bank will do whatever is required to keep inflation steady above the 2% target. Meanwhile, the pound sterling has remained solid in the past few trading sessions as the United Kingdom inflation is not showing promising signs of deceleration ahead. Investors are anticipating that the Bank of England will not bring down inflation to half by the end of the year. BOE Governor Andrew Bailey has already conveyed that he underestimated our strength and persistence of inflation. Furthermore, you have UK Finance Minister Jeremy Hunt has promised a decline in tax burden from households which were retail demand. Uh, furthermore, now, we have seen that on Thursday, the UK Office for National Statistics has also reported that 18% uh, of UK firms are looking to press on the impact of higher EP prices and cost of employment to end consumers, 23% of firms recorded in the last survey. Now, on a technical level, we are seeing our most important technical level support at 171.098, resistance at 172. 0.788. So if we're to make an entry on this point and let our trade run down to uh the 171.155 zone, we are looking at nothing less than 120 pips from that entry point, of course, which is good money. So an, an extension for that, we are looking at for 169.948. And um we are having it at 169.610, an extension, which is at about 169 pips from that entry point back from this uh, support zone down to a new support zone at 169.644. And that's our technical analysis on today's um, current CPI GBP JPY. Now let's move over to the stock markets. Hello, welcome back, guys. And on today's stock market, we'll be having a look at General Electric. Uh, today, GE today has announced that uh, Chief Financial Officer Transition Rahul Gaya would become Senior Vice President and Chief Financial Officer of GE effective from September 1st, 2023, succeeding Carolina D. Back Happy. Mr. Gaya will assume his role in addition to his current responsibilities as Chief Financial Officer of GE Aerospace, which he has held since August 2022. Dybeck Happy will continue as an SVP of GE for a period of time to assist with the transition and, of course, continue to work to prepare for separation readiness ahead of the planned GE Venova spin-off. Now, what to expect from this uh, on a general overview? We are looking at uh, also that our Triumph Group wins a long-term contract, leap contract with GE. And uh, this is a GS solution business that has been awarded a long-term agreement with General Electric on the inlet chair boxes for LEAP 1, LEAP 1B, and LEAP 1C program. This work will be performed at the Triumph GS Solutions faculty uh, facility rather in Macomb, Michigan. Now, Triumph has partnered with GE on LEAP and CFM 56 IGBs for over 35 years, shipping over 25,000 gearboxes to date. And with his contract extension, Triumph will supply thousands of IGBs annually to GE into the next decade. So, now what to expect from this on a technical level? 
we are seeing a, a new rise from a new support zone and a possible breakout from 99.63 and heading to a new zone at 97. Or five seven. So looking at this entry point and calculating the amount of pips, we're seeing about 35 pips from that entry point and hold some, and probably an extension because we are looking yet to observe something more or less like a double head and shoulder pattern. So we are looking out for at least 95.4 to just a free fall, which is at about 53 pips from that entry point, of course, which is good money. And that's our technical analysis on today's stock market, General Electric. I remain your host, Nick. Bye for now.